suck on my thoughts and become wiser! First one of the day, another drum, nice fish. And a good Saturday morning YouTube pipe community. Sun coming up, coffee going down. Went fishing uh, yesterday, early morning. I took the day off, vacation day. Uh, I was out there at the crack of dawn. And uh, you can see in uh, a couple of pictures and video that uh, I could barely see 10 feet in front of me with the fog. It was pretty scary in the morning, especially when you know you got huge barges and stuff like that coming at you on the river. I don't know if I'll do that again, go that early, but uh, out all day, I was about for about six hours, only caught one fish. It was a nice size one, but that's all I caught, one drum. Still undecided if I'm going to go today or not. I might just stay in the shop all day and make pipes. Or I might go this afternoon till evening. I don't know yet. Today we're going to do Gallath and Hogarth Brown Pigtail Rope. This was gifted to me from Cole, Big Country Briar. Which was gifted to him from 13 Pipes. When he was over there visiting him and uh, a couple of his other friends. Let's give this a try and see what we got. It's supposed to be a strong Virginia. It's a small rope with, uh, I believe, maple sugar soaked in. Just sugars in general, I'm not sure. It smells really strong. Uh, when he gave me this, well, he, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna send the rest to him. I noticed right away how small the rope was, and I was like, that's unusual for uh, Gallatin and Hogarth, but I guess you can't get this in the States. There's some similar, I forget the name of it. If somebody wants to leave a comment below, get in there and get you some of this. Look at it! Look at that. Looks like a pretzel. I really like, I don't know about the tobacco yet, but I really like the smaller rope like that. That's cool as hell. It's a lot easier to handle. Ugh, smells amazing. I guess back in the day, uh, sailors and old, older guys would take a plug of this off and chew it. it. Smells great. Let me get my pipe pack and give you my thoughts. And we're back. Definitely don't smoke this on an empty stomach like I do. <laughs> Deep, dark, rich fruit. Uh, very smooth on the retro hail. Absolutely no tongue bite. It has that Hogarth funk that I always call it. Really nice, uh, like really fermented. Deep, rich. I 
I believe it was supposed to have been soaked in like sugar waters or rum maple sugars. But hardly any of that's detected at all. To me, it almost tastes like a uh, cigar as well. A uh, really nice blend. I like a lot of Hogarth stuff. Uh, I forget the name of this one. It's supposed to be the same thing that we can get in the States, other except in a bigger rope form. I forget the name of it. Somebody will leave a comment. But I do like the smaller rope a lot better. I'll be packing the rest of this up and uh, get with Cole. He wanted me to send this to him. If the gift was for him, actually. <laughs> he gifted it to me to try first. Just now getting around to trying it. it does need to dry out a little more. Like most tobaccos. But uh, two thumbs up. I went through Gallif Hogarth blends there uh, a couple years ago, and I did basically off, I believe almost all the ones that you can get in the States. Uh, I'll have to check. I think I still might have some left that I didn't get to, uh, like some of the Kendalls and stuff like that. But uh, I really liked a lot of them. I gifted a lot of them away. I know I had a uh, the Cherry Rope. I forget what it was called. It might have been called Cherry Rope. Uh, I ended up giving that to somebody. I can't remember who that was either. But uh, nice stuff. The sweetness is there, but it's like in the back, back runner. It's it's like. The uh, Virginias are up front for sure, and it's like the sweetness like comes through at the end, like through the retro hair, and it's not overpowering. I can't get over how smooth Gower Hogarth blends are, like through the retro hail for a strong as they are like you know this one's a really strong nick hit definitely not for the beginner pipe smoker you've had this one leave your thoughts below again i love the uh size of that rope very nice I thought it was going to be a lot more sweeter than what it, the uh, description I read on. So I'm glad about that. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Like I said, I might be going out this evening. It was actually supposed to rain this morning. It never did either. We've been in a severe drought here like a lot of the country. It's been, I've been living here for almost 30 years now, and uh, I don't ever remember the grass being dead burnt brown like it is. We've always had real pretty bright green grass, always. I had a cigar left out here from last night, and <laughs> this is what it reminds me of right here. Look at it! Look at the cigar! I'm done rambling. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Talk to you boys and girls later.